Welcome! In this session I would like to explain to you how to use aliases in Windows PowerShell. Microsoft has included a lot of aliases in Windows PowerShell. This way our code would look shorter and uses less memory. Before I get started, I need to make sure that you have a full understanding of variables, operators, loops and how to use the pipeline in Windows PowerShell. If you are unsure or would like to refresh your memory, please view one of my earlier sessions. A way to view aliases is to use the get alias commandlet. To be able to use this, we need to specify the following properties. We need to specify either a definition, this would be the name of the commandlet that we would like to see the alias from, or the name, this would be the name of the alias. To use the definition, we would specify the get alias commandlet with the property definition, and then we would specify the commandlet or command that we are looking for. If we want to search for a name of an alias, we can start with a, or that starts with a certain character. We can do this by specifying the name property with the wildcard character that we are looking for. We can also filter the search um, by using the WHERE clause um, to search for aliases. Um, in this case, um, I'm, we are going to use a, a, to see if a condition is met. So we are using the WHERE object, then the variable, um, the pipeline variable dollar underscore to see if the version is not equal to null or nothing. Okay, let's wrap this up with a couple of examples in PowerShell ISE. Okay, I've opened PowerShell ISE to demonstrate to you how to use aliases in Windows PowerShell. First thing, we're going to use the commandlet called get alias. We are specifying the definition and I'm going to ask to see what the alias is for, for each object. To execute that, you will notice it actually has two aliases. The first one is the percent sign and another one would be the for each. Okay, up next I'm going to ask to see the definition where object. If I execute this one, you can notice you'll notice that it has another two aliases. One is a question mark, or the other one would be where. Then I can get the same for get process, specify the definition get process. It also has two aliases. The one would be GPS, get process, or you can just specify PS. Even get alias has an alias, so I'm going to specify that for to see what get alias is, and as you can see, it is called GAL. So in this next line, I'm actually calling the alias GAL, and I'm going to search for a wildcard character that starts with F. So if the name of the alias starts with F, it will return all the aliases that start with F, like format custom, format hex, format list, format tag table, and so on. Up next, I'm going to use a pipe to filter the object. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to use the, another alias called where. I can also specify the question mark over here. And then I'm going to use the pipeline variable that is a dollar underscore. And I would see if the version of that is not equal to null. So if I execute this, you will notice that these aliases do not have a version number. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the session and I'm looking forward to our next one.